Hello and welcome to H Whiskey. My name is Dave and this is Tom back hey. again. And this is where we challenge everything after the still. And today we are challenging barrel proof. <laughs> experiment I actually kind of messed up the first one I put four cubes in it instead of three uh, and yeah I did it wrong so anyway what we have here's the experiment we have uh, the same whiskey so this is Buffalo Trace white dog mash one um, it's split in half so that's a 375 milliliter bottle that's cut in half um, so it starts out at 125 125 proof and you can see the color on that came out pretty decent. This is about two and a half weeks of aging here. I actually pulled it off because it was starting to get a little bit over oaked. Uh, this one right here is 115. This one is 105. And this is 95. So um, we're going to go through a few things, little concepts here. We're going to talk about how to proof, how to, how to test for proof, how to proof things down, the techniques that we use. But um, cool. before we get into all that... Yeah. Yeah. It's back at it again, man. Yeah. It's exciting to be back here. Yeah. It's been a minute. I think I don't have enough Glen Cairns. It's um, all right. I'll I just uh, rinse out. I just broke another one this past week. Oh, man. <laughs> so, so far, for those keeping track at home, we're down two Glen Cairns since we started eating whiskey. <laughs> That's pretty good. Only two? <laughs> Only two, man. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, so, just a reminder that there will be a link to a project document here in the, um, the description of this video. And yes, it will have information about the last project that we did for Barrel Proof and how it failed and how I had four stays on it and all that kind of good stuff. So you're going to see that there. Uh, that's a link over to a Google document. I'm currently working on a new website um, that will have all these kind of linked in there. That way you don't have to go to the specific video. It will all be listed out there. So it's kind of an easier way to get to things. Um, what's the mash one? It's the mash one. So it's, it's a, a mash of corn, rye, and barley. So sweet. Again, 125 proof. And it doesn't really burn that on the nose for 125 proof. It's got a little, do you get any of that copper tint on it? Just yeah, a little, a little bit there. But. More on like the finish. I got that sweet, I got the, I don't know. Like the raisiny bubble gum. Definitely raisiny. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, right. Yeah, it's it's nice, man. It's, it's not different bad. tasting, uh, unaged. I wanted to get into um, a little bit of how we test for proof. And there's really two ways as home agers are, are playing with things. And... Um, the easy way, not always the most reliable way, the easy way is one of these guys for a refractometer. Um, so you basically um, put whiskey on this area right here, light refracts off of it, and it shows you a level of proof that's on there. And um, this will, this goes up and down based on temperature. I mean, really everything does based on temperature. So you got to kind of dial it in. And this right here is your little dial in um, knob right here. So if we're going to test this right now, which we are, we're going to double check to make sure that this is 125 proof. And usually we have no problem with that at all. So this is showing a little bit higher, which means it's probably not calibrated appropriately. So you just dial it down. Pretty good. So go ahead it's and look in there. there. Yep. See how it's at 62. Oh, okay. Yeah. See that line right yeah, there? Yeah, that's cool. And you can dial in the, the eyepiece as well. It'll kind of focus in for you. Yeah. yeah. 62 ish. Yep. Mm -hmm. But there's there's another technique too. The other technique is um, a, a, I guess this is also an alcoholometer. You know, anything that measures alcohol is a alcoholometer. Fill that you up. basically, yeah, you want to fill it up to about three quarters to uh, 90%. Three 
in that space. Because obviously we're about to drop the, um, I don't know if everybody can see this. It's about right there, it's fine. This guy out. Put this here. And now wherever the line is that this is floating on, see how it just drops in there? Oh wow. Okay. So it's kind of hard to see, but as it's as it's out here, it's just floating like that. Yeah. Okay. And then wherever the line is, you can kind of see it right there. That's where, and you obviously don't want it on the edge. You want it in the middle. Right, right, right. But apparently I can't hold it straight. <laughs> so. I can tell that's cold clear and you can read it. Yep. I'm getting like a 130. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, so there's variations in a temperature as well. Under. But also it's not, it's not the, t so if you look at it, um, and I'll, maybe I'll put some kind of graphic up here, but you have this concave of liquid sure. that kind of pulls up. So really right. what you want to do is be on the bottom of that and you can kind of see it right here, yeah, right in the middle, not touching the wall. It's getting close to that 125. It's pretty close to that. Obviously there's some variations in that, right? Temperature right. plays a role here, but yeah. we're about that. We're 72 here in Michigan right now. So it's pretty close. It is. Yeah. It's under 130. It's, right. Yeah. I would say, 127, 130 mm -hmm. ish. Well, well, 130, 125 in that space. So it's very close what they're very close. Yep. Like within one. <laughs> so the problem with that is now I have to pour this back into the jar or whatever, right? Or Tom can just drink it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a little bit of extra um, inconvenience, if you will. Um, that you have to you have to clean it off. You got to do a lot of things. You know, you got to put it back in. Um, but um, yeah, it is this is the most precise way of doing it right here. So if you if you're running a distillery and you didn't invest in a thousand dollar digital one time boop, and it just tells you <laughs> right you're doing this you're doing this and that's that's the right way of doing it and just to be just to be sure because um, you know the TTB. Okay. Comes in and tests all this stuff. So, um, bottle and bond, all that. Bottle and bond. I gotta know exactly what it goes in at. Mm -hmm. So then I have to right pour it back in. It's it's a bit of a pain. As opposed to just taking an eyedropper and then, um, all right. So we're getting wipe it off. Right? Sixty-two. So we're starting off with Nine, our 95. 95, all right. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that corn. Big corn. Big time. You get some butter in there, too. Yes, buttery corn. Some cornbread action. <laughs> Ooh, some cinnamon. Got the cinnamon popping Man. through there, which didn't come through in the nose at all. No. Wow. And I don't taste a lot of corn on it. No, not at all. <laughs> Hardly at all. Cinnamon strange. is lingering around. Cinnamon is is dominant. Like a hint of that raisin. This oh, that, that is good. Ninety five. It's not as heavy on the nose as yeah that no, ninety five. Definitely not. Very mellowed out. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Yeah. Let's go for it. It's got an oily mouth feel on it before it dropped in. A little bit of the cinnamons too. Not, yeah. not like the 95 was. Towards the end, I'm getting a lot more flavor. Middle end, not, not up front. Well, there's not a lot happening in there at all. No, that's wild. Hmm. This was proof to... 105. 105, all right. 105. 
<clears throat> it's not bad. It's just it's dull. It is less. Yeah, it's just dull. There's not a lot happening. <laughs> right. You let this sit here for a minute. Um, let's talk about how you proof down whiskey. Okay. Right. So there's really two ways of doing it. One is is adding water to it, and the second is if you're distilling it. Um, you know, you kind of choose the height of the of the column mm -hmm. or how many plates you have in that column to, to heighten the um, the alcohol pushing up over the top. So you can kind of say, all right, at this level, it's, you know, 105. At this level, it's 115. At this level, it's, uh, you know, so the, the farther, yeah, the still has to push it up over the top. The, right. the, um, the I guess the higher quality of the, the whiskey in terms of proof. Right? Does that have anything to do with the heads, what the hearts, the tails? So is the heads super high proof then? So it's it's always uh, moving down. So whenever it starts dripping off the still, it begins to get less of a proof after that. Okay. So the heads are always going to be uh, have more proof than the tails will. Yeah. Um, obviously, you want to get rid of some of the um, that early, you know, depending on how large the still is, but you want to kind of get rid of some of that early, what they call methanol, but it's not really methanol, maybe sure, a little sure. bit, but it's not dangerous amounts. Um, but yeah, over time, um, more water is caught up in the column to push over the top. So the, it kind of tails off towards the end and you yep. have to continue raising up the temperature of the still. The butter. I get some cinnamon smell in there. Or maybe that's just me not rinsing out. Also, rookie move, if you put beard oil in before you go and taste whiskey. Beard oil in before? <laughs> that's a bad idea. Because then you start tasting everything vanilla oh, <laughs> or no. whatever. whatever well, that's not a bad is. thing, I guess, but if you're trying to use your uh, senses. But definitely can, you know, you put your nose in there, you get more of a burn coming across your nose. Yeah, there's definitely more of a nose. The, fl the, it's the smells there more than the, the 105. World. Yes, sir. Mm. So a little Raisin. bit more flavor. Yeah. Mm, the cinnamon up front. I, I get a lot more of the white dog coming through on that one. Yep. Um, yep. With like what you're saying, the raisins, maybe not so much in the cotton candies, but I think some of that copper kind of touches on this one right yeah, here. Yeah. Just like copper. Yep. That one is the most similar to me as the, the white dog. White dog. Which is good. Yeah. I'm not saying that's bad yeah. or anything. Not but. bad. No. And it has a little bit, has a little bit of um, oaky in there, but not overpowering in any way. Yeah, the oaks are not over. Yeah, right. And it's long, long finish. It does. Yeah. It does Maybe better than the last one. All right. Are you ready for the granddaddy of them all? All right. So maybe I didn't cover this earlier, but when when we talk about adding water. Um, you essentially just add some water in there until the refractometer kind of comes back down or the hydrometer comes back down to the appropriate proof. Then you let it sit there and let the um, alcohol and water kind of marry together. It just takes a while for them to kind of do that. And it's, it's totally fine to put wood on at that point, but if you're going to taste it, yeah. then, you know, you want to let it sit for a little while. And are we using um, special water when we're proofing down so that's interesting people talk about um if you're gonna put water in whiskey you're supposed to take it from the source that it was made that's from. right that's right and that's the scotch kind of side of yeah, the side yeah. of the world however Kentucky. i don't <laughs> man i got limited funds buddy i can't be traveling out to <laughs> right, right. you know buffalo trace and scooping out of the water, some of your water on your creek <laughs> this is not i'm just gonna grab like this the water that we have right here is vapor distilled uh this is Super fancy. You don't need any of that. Filtered water is fine. Um, this one also has Ooh. electrolytes in it. Well, it's a lot more powerful coming off that. Yeah, yeah. Well, it uh, makes sense. So I'm getting a lot of the nose of the uh, the constant, what you started with. Out of the way. Wow. Actually, I like that, that, that nose the most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that butter is taking There's a lot over. going on there.
maybe I'm fixating on butter, but I, I almost smell bread. <laughs> like white bread. The corn. There's the corn there. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. Let's get Try it out. Mmm. Hello, cinnamon. So yeah, you right got, there, boom. You you've got um, on the front side of the palate, you've got a lot of flavors happening there, and it carries all the way towards the end. It's not shallow yep. like this one was. There's a raisin right there. Yep. The raisins in there too. Yep, very distinct. So let's say yeah, <clears throat> very similar. It's like an aged white, white dog. dog that's yep. unwatered down. <laughs> yep. I mean, it, I don't get crazy amounts of uh, oak on that. I don't get but that's what it is, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not too much oak. No, no, I didn't get a lot of the oakiness on um, any of these. I think it's crazy to look at the the colors happening here. This right here is the 95, and this right here is the 125. Look at how red that is. Like, it's crazy. Um, and remember, it's just that there's more alcohol in there. That's really all it is. That's it. Well, so if you don't, how much water did it take to water 125 down to 95? It's it's actually a, uh, not a significant amount, mm -hmm. um, but and I, I didn't I didn't write down exactly how much, but sure. obviously you know how it goes. It's a good amount. It's a little. This is medium, and that's a lot more, right? Okay. So right, right. Um, but there's there's actually online calculators, and this is a good point. Um, I can link over to, I think the one that I like the best is probably over at Stillit uh, that Jesse put on his website. I'll link to that in the description. Um, and you can kind of go out there and punch in the numbers of going, okay, I have a certain amount of volume. Um, and then I have uh, the current proof of that volume. And I want to move it to this proof. Gotcha. And I'll talk about how much water to put in. So right. it's a very easy calculation. It's Thank you, Jesse, for doing that. I appreciate it. That's nice for you. Um, Forty of us. Isn't that so crazy? How it's the exact same whiskey, the exact same wood, mm -hmm. same toast, same jar, all that kind of stuff. And just you know, you dial in that proof a little bit, and right. it just affects the flavor so much. I still like the ninety-five. It's weird to me. We all think, oh, higher proof, more flavors there. Until you hit that one twenty-five. Yeah. And then, you know, it's interesting because, you know, in my, in my show notes here, um, as I'm going through and looking at how other distilleries are proofing their whiskey and obviously mash bills are totally different, right? So oh, yeah. this is going to taste and have certain flavors that come through, right. um, based on what they're trying to make. But if, and I talked about this in the last video, but I think it bears repeating. If I'm looking at, um, what barrel proofs. Uh, distilleries have at least in the past put out it, this is not what they're doing right now because obviously I don't know what they're doing right now but yeah, this is what they put out in the past so I'm gonna go from the bottom up so Michter's is a 103 entry point um, Peerless is 107 mm -hmm. Maker's Mark is 110 uh, Weller Van Winkle is 114 Wow, Turkey 115 and Four Roses is 120. 120. Four Roses is 120. Which isn't that interesting that Four Roses is 120 right. when they're coming off some of those floral notes? You'd think that'd be kind of moving down a little bit. Yep. yep. Um, but no. Yeah, it's... All right. But let's get into like we'll which one you think yeah. the, that you like. <laughs> to me, I think it's between 95 and 125. It's wild, right? Yeah, for me too. 95, 125. And that's, but to me, I'm going to give the nod to 125 for yeah. the winner. We're like it's higher just, proof. It's just something I'm more expecting. It's something I'm looking for. At yeah. 95, I'm losing some of the flavor that comes through. You are. Honestly. You are. You are losing some. So. And you lose is, a lot more though. 115 and 105. It's just. Yeah. So let's, let's do a little fun experiment here. All right. Let's take this and proof it down to 95. Oh, snap. Right? So let's see where it's at. <laughs> so we're putting about 10 mils in here in each um, each glass. And if I was good at this, I would know exactly <laughs> what that number is. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pause. I'm going to try and do that. Damn. 
All right, so after some beep, beep, boop, 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 uh, we went over to Jesse's website over at Still It and pulled up the dilution calculator. Uh, and it told us if we have 10 milliliters, we should put three milliliters of water in it to bring it down to 95. So let's test that out. So four is right here, three is right there. See that? Yep, yep. After you dilute it down, you want to let it sit there and marry for a little bit before you really test the proof on it, just to just to be sure. Again, this is another reason why you want to use a refractometer is because um, you know at small uh, doses like this, small sample sizes, um, like ten milliliters, I can't do ten milliliters on this guy, right? I'm using probably 150 milliliters on that guy, and it just it just doesn't play well. So here it's a little bit easier if we just have it all right there. Bam. Holy smokes. We got Jesse the genius. <laughs> so our 125 is down to 95. We're going to do a side by side. So we need and to we proof we need it to down another... after it aged. Yep, after it aged. Let's do the original 95 because we original. know we know what that one tastes like. So let's go through it. You know, it's got that good nose. <laughs> mm. Yep, it's good. Still, I mean, for 95, that's right. fantastic, man. It's good. I mean, a lot more of that corn. Getting a little bit more cinnamon in this guy than I am in the first one. But it's very slight. It's not enough to really write home about. Can you... it's, it's a slight more. I think we started with the higher proof. Here, let's get into it. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. The cinnamon's there. It's a little bit more spicy than this one. It is definitely a little more spicy. They're both really good, though. They both are really they good. They are both. Um, which one has more flavor in it? Mm, I think still the nine, the one twenty-five. I think so too. It, it lingers it a little more. It holds in there. Like the mouth feels slightly better. Yeah, it's got that spicy mid palate that kind of pops up. Eh. You know, we're, we're, we're talking about it being cinnamon, but it's a, it's a spicy kind of, it's it's obviously starts in as cinnamon, but it's a spicy mid palate kind of work on that. And mm. I think that's the only difference between the two. There's um, where with the 95, it kind of flattens out right at the middle. Yep. And the 125 that we just proved. It holds in. It holds. Yep. It yep. holds it in. It stays longer. Mm -hmm. So, boy, I think we just proved it. Man. So I think coming in at the higher proof at that, and you know, again, the disclaimer is you can always have a different mash bill going into yeah, the, the mash and, bill, I, and right. I think it's always going to be a little bit different <clears throat> based on that. But if we're going to be using the white dog mash one um, and putting it in a barrel, keeping it at that 125 really brings in some good flavors. Absolutely. And I think, I think holding Absolutely. on to that. And then if you want to proof it down later on, uh, Boy, I think it has, or, or whatever, yeah, or whatever. If you want it in the 10, whatever you're tasting at, I think it carries more of those flavors in after yeah. it's been aged. Yeah. So, for sure. Um, hey, if you guys have done anything like this before in the past, you know, putting any kind of white dog, or let's say it's home distillation or whatever, and you put it on barrels, and what was the proof that you put it in at? I'd love to know what you did and what your experience was and the flavors that came through. Because honestly, I'm trying to map all these things in my mind because, it, you know, to me, it's super interesting. I really want to know about like, okay, what was the mash bill? What what was the proof? And what was the kind of wood that you, you were aging it on? Like, to me, that's super interesting. So put that in the comment below. I'd love to know more about what you're working on. What is actual barrel proof? So barrel proof is the amount of alcohol that is in the whiskey um, 
when you put it into the barrel or you put it in a, a mason jar with cubes on it, even though you can't see the cubes here because that's super dark. <laughs> but this is an idea, just, you know, when you put it in and close the lid on it, that's the barrel proof. And uh, just to give you guys a, an idea, over time, if you're actually using a barrel, the, the proof will change over time based on the humidity. Sure. If, if the humidity is high, the, um, the wet, the, the water actually escapes rather than the alcohol. If it's a drier climate, then the alcohol escapes. That's the angel share stuff. So there's ways you can dial some of that stuff in based on the humidity and the pressure. Mm -hmm. um, climate controlled. Climate controlled environments. And, it's the future. Man, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, to my viewers in Canada, South America, Australia, I apologize to you all. Um, you're not seeing all my videos because I'm using copyrighted music. And I thought everybody was able to see it. It's just the the companies that the music I was using would get all the whatever the the, the money from that that video. And I thought well, that's cool. I'm not trying to make a ton of money. Um, let's let's share the wealth, right? Let's share some good music. And let's let's push it around. However, YouTube has shut down how I can do this, and they're no longer showing this to you know, even Middle Eastern countries as well. Um, so there's a lot of countries that are not seeing these videos and it's, and it's calculating up to about 20% of my audience. So I'm pulling it, I'm going to do a new intro and a new outro. And I'm kind of like trying to figure this whole thing out. So please bear with me. I apologize if things are going to change, it's going to get a little weird, but, um, you know, I guess you got to play by their rules. You got to, you know, they make the platform, Man. you got to use their rules. So is what it is. Anyway. That's all I have to say about that. All right. Like we always do. Cheers, y'all. To better whiskey. Better whiskey.